Broadway is amazing seeing Sonics this high up and being able to commentate them, but it can't always be a win. Sometimes you just get left behind right at the start of the finish line. But yeah. regardless, we move on to Kader versus Lucy. Yeah. Now, Kader is probably the uh, player I'm least familiar with in this top 8 overall. Yeah, Kader, a very, very prolific UK ZMR. Uh, very, always fun to watch. <laughs> and obviously, Lucy. Lucy with the Ori. Yeah, one of Italy's shining stars. Uh, so, this is going to be fun to watch, especially. Seeing as I don't think I can remember the last time I saw this character matchup. I mean, I guess we did see Lucy fight off uh, Fire Icy quite a few times, but yeah. Fire Icy is just another level, so. Yeah, but seeing it this close uh, skill level in top 8, it is going to be quite fun. Uh, especially seeing such a fundamentals character versus. Quite a gimmicky character. Yeah, a more tricky character like Or Ori. We're already seeing like Lucy trying to zone out a lot with the, that spirit flame from uh, from Sign. Just the spirit explosion from oh. Sign. A very good Just, F strong here in order yeah, to get the kill. I, but uh, Lucy is a little bit late on the percentage train here. A very nice bait on that parry to get the up strong uh, was strong. And she is just dragging Kader around at this point. I feel like this is the big thing with Lucy. Overall, she's very consistent with the confirms, but yeah, Kader is just gonna use all reliable here to secure the stock. Yeah, or he's a rather light character, so. Yeah, as That's we've seen early. with Zetabun, the likes of Fire I see and obviously Kader, they just have such meaty moves, especially with fire. Eruptions are so huge in terms of percent and how far they take you. Yeah, uh, Zerubon is really a very momentum based character overall. Just stacking the fire, getting that damage over time, or you know, getting up here sweet spot, you know. Yeah. Up here sweet spot always a very reliable tool. The sweet spot is a little bit small overall. But it is a very potent kill, uh, killing machine. Very, very volatile. Uh, but regardless, we are going into game two, running it back on Tower of Heaven. Now, back on Tower, to be fair, it is a very, uh, very neutral stage. Yeah. Or one of the more neutral stages in the game. Thanks, looking good for Lucy already. But it's not going to be enough to slow her down. Just yet. Yeah, we. The big thing right now is we need at any cost to keep uh, Kater off stage. I think that's going to be the big goal here for Lucy going into that game too. We need to keep Kater off stage and not let him get back, you know, for free like that. Huh? Yeah. As linear as Zetaburn's recovery can be, it is also quite safe. Doesn't manage to cancel the down B there. I but think the Kater was just too low, but we are going to take the kill right back. Yeah, of course. But still, as I was saying, as linear as the recovery can be, it is also quite safe. Just an active hitbox all the way through. So that, it's really a linear but time. fast recovery and with the active hitboxes all the time. Yeah, so the you have up to be, B, down B. <laughs> yeah, if I have to use a projectile, be very accurate with your timing when trying to edge guard the Zenobun. But regardless, it is looking pretty dang even right now. Just a fireless dash attack up shot. Don't know the validity of that, but it, it builds a percent. And yeah, but now we have the, the, the fire coming in on uh, Lucy. And Kater has the, the offstage advantage. A little bit too short here on that up strong. And that's going to allow Lucy to get... You know, some kind of stage control back. And the people need to use the up airs. Just, you know, mashing up air right now. To be fair, it is a very good tool. 
I feel against Zetterburn because it's quick, it's got a pretty big hitbox. So yeah. you can kind of use it like that. Uh -oh. <laughs> that was very dangerous here. Yeah, Lucy, very good at using Sign and, and a bash. bash. Yeah, Lucy, very good at using Ori's kit. Especially Sign, especially, especially Bash. Especially Bash. And uh, Bash is not necessarily the easiest move to, uh, to land as well. You do got set, uh, setups from time to time, but it is a very risky move, especially off stage, because it puts you into special fall if you miss. Yeah, Bash, a very committal move, but I feel like I have never or very, very rarely seen Lucy miss a Bash, especially off stage. <laughs> so, we got to strong. Frozen Fortress now, a pretty good pick on Kayla's part. This wide, open bottom platform, and of course the three platforms either side for uh, falling aerials. Yeah, very solid for falling aerials, and also potentially some good confirms as well from mid stage. So I think just uh, Kayla right now, just trying to keep up the pressure as much as possible. With this counter oh, and this no. is exactly what we're saying about a bash being very committal and sending you to hell if you miss it. Arcada in chat taught, saying I was foreshadowing that mm, commentator's curse. That's so that's so cool. Regardless, we see him on the last stop of game three. Yeah, this is, and Cater does have a very good. Very good health leader as well to uh, to boot uh, on that stalker. As the damage is still racking up from the fire on Lucy, we're gonna catch with the F tilt. Lucy really struggling to find any kind of footing on this fortress, oh, and the down strong is gonna finish it off. Sure, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> but Kata. Moving on to game four with a strong lead. Yeah, I think that uh, that was really the momentum that Cater needed. You know, in this game, obviously Lucy may be a little bit shaken off by that uh, by that best miss, but we are going to go to the blazing hideout for this game four and the SD from Cater. The dental. Be reverse that I assume and hope accidental, but that isn't going to slow Kata down as they're already building up a very nice percent on Lucy. Yeah, yeah, already almost making it back here in terms of uh, of stocks, so trying to get a kill off the top, but uh, unfortunately with Blazing Hideout, it's not going to be quite as easy. We're still being up the pressure here on Lucy on that edge, and the fair is going to take it in the end. Awesome. Already Kata evening it out so, so easily. As, as we have seen from our very own top player, and just from any match we've seen of this character, Zetaburn is so, so good at just building momentum, but it does not matter when Lucy already back in the good mentality, finding that bash and killing. Yeah, but then you've got the Gatling combo coming in from Cater from that top platform in order to get, uh, secure the kill. And now we're in this last stock situation. Lucy really needs to find a way in on Cater and once again push Cater off stage as early as possible. Right now, there it is. We've got this offstage situation, unfortunately reading the recovery wrong, which will not matter in the end, as we are going to take that stock off of the F-Strong. Made attacking in place while a sign-charged F-Strong was going on. Hmm. Takes that last stock for Lucy as we go on to game 5. On and we've got a crack counterpick. Crystal Oasis? I keep forgetting what this stage is called, so I'm just going to go for a But yeah, Lucy switching to her crag, which I do believe we have seen on stream so far, but seeing it in top yeah. eight is very So far it's not working, honestly. No, I mean, Zetaburn crag is quite a weird matchup. We've 
it's we see it in our top plate. We see it in mid level. So it's very well documented, but it's not always even or in favor of one or the other. Yeah, I just feel like right now Cater was really thriving. You know, not really thriving from Ori's uh, weight and not really getting that many, uh, you know, solid confirms. But right now on Crag, you know, not a problem. Crag is a little bit of a combo food material. I mean, as we are sitting. Oh, runs into the Runs into the Armstrong. Cater, come on, buddy. You better than this. <laughs> it's okay, we still have a stock lead, a full stock lead. Yeah, and already pushing Lucy off stage, regardless of her side beam. Carries the jab, and... Yeah, good uh, good jab check here on uh, Lucy's side. Pushing Cater right on that ledge, uh, trying to zoom out with the uh, down B as well. And the confirm into the fair, not going to be quite enough to kill from there. But now we have Cater pushing... Lucy here in a precarious situation, trying to go for the air kill, but the up strong is gonna be the one to take take it all for Cater with a full free two. Yeah, I've, we've seen this many a times. Someone will switch to a different character on their last game, thinking, "Oh, maybe I just need to 